ho, 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 hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. I want to thank everybody. Well over 3,000 subs now. I'm humbled. Uh, I appreciate all the comments I get. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. And this is beer review number 500. Didn't think I'd ever get here. Been a lot of good times. There's been a few bad ones there. But like I said, I try to research these beers and, and not just buy stuff off the off the go, I mean, you know, try to do a little bit so I don't buy a lot of bad beers. I don't like to pay good money for bad beers. So uh, we try to steer y'all one way or the other and uh, hope uh, we give you some good comments and some good suggestions on, on what's good to drink. So, uh, like I said, I appreciate all the comments I get from everybody. And this is Beer Review 500. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Alright guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Pliny the Elder. This is 500th beer review. Wow, this is supposed to be a killer beer. I've only had a taste of it one time before at, a, at one of the beer the meetings we did. And, uh, my buddy Josh, uh, head brewer at Wolf Hills, was brought back from his uh, trip out there. And there was about 20 of us in the room, so we just barely all just got a taste of it. This is this is enough to say, wish I had more of that. So, This is from the Russian River. They're out of California. It's an American Double Imperial IPA. 8% ABV on this one. Rotating schedule. The food pairings cuisine would be barbecue. Your cheeses are going to be peppery, your Monterey, your pepper jack, your sharp, your blue, your more pungent cheeses, uh, even gorgonzola and Limburger. The uh, meat for this is game, grilled meat, and salmon. The glassware is a snifter tulip oversized wine glass. I got the Duel glass today, guys. And the beer can be cellared, but do not cellar this. But, uh, Russian River has a date on here, and they have on the bottle, Do not age the elder. Drink it fresh. And this was bottled on 10 4 11 so uh, a little over a month ago. So uh, without any further ado, well, actually, it's probably going to be a little less than this because I recorded this a little earlier, guys. Uh, I want to record it fresh so I know what it tastes like and uh, saved, it, uh, saved it a couple of weeks for the, the 500th beer review. So I'm actually uh, letting the cat out of the bag here. I'm actually recording this uh, before Thanksgiving, but uh, this, won't, this, won't, uh, this won't show until December. So, but anyway, uh, this, uh, this is a great beer. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, like I said, I've tasted it. And it comes uh, with high regards. Uh, uh, they can't get their beers here. So if uh, anybody on the East Coast, uh, especially in Virginia, they have to have somebody either send it to them or, or ship it out to them because it is not distributed here. Not in my neck of the woods anyway. So let's get this. Uh, let's see if I can operate this bad boy. Let's get this thing open and uh, see, what, uh, see what this one's all about. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's pour it down the center. Looking through the bottle, it doesn't seem like it's got a lot of trash or anything in the bottom of it. Looks really, really clear. Pour a nice down the center. Pour a nice finger and a half head. Uh, very orange. I can see right through it. It is not cloudy whatsoever. It is right out of the fridge. It is about 40 degrees though, guys. Looks very good in the glass. Let's get a nose on this one. Oh, man. <laughs> that smells so good. That is a very West Coast style. Piney hops. Wow, that smells so good. It's got a lot going on in this beer. It is very citrusy, floral. Well, this is a hop head lover's delight, guys. The ultimate. Doesn't say IPA. Plenty of the elder, but. Cheers, guys. Mm. 
Man, 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 that's good. I'm blowing my hair back, guys. That is delish. Boy, that is great. That is a great beer. But I am so sad I cannot get this. Nick. Nick, I appreciate you sending me these out to me. I uh, hope you enjoy the Founders beers that I sent back to you that you can't get out there. Uh, got another bottle of this in the fridge, guys. Uh, this is excellent beer. It is. Uh, I don't have to drink much of it to tell you this is going to get a. It's going to get an outstanding grade. That is so well balanced. If you're a hop head, you will love this. It says right across the top here, respect your elder, keep cold, drink fresh, do not age, Pliny the Elder. This is historical figure, don't make the beer inside this bottle one. Not a barley wine, do not age, age your cheese, not your plenty. Respect hops consumed fresh. Does not improve with age. Hoppy beers are meant to be are not meant to be aged. Keep away from heat. If you must sit on eggs, <laughs> not on plenty. Do not save for a rainy day. Plenty is a savoring, not for saving. Consume fresh or not at all. Guys, that's an excellent beer. Just how I remember it, too. Well, exceptional beer, guys. Well, it's right out of the fridge. I really don't have to come back and tell you, but you know what I'm going to say on this. But I'm going to make you wait. I'll be right back, guys. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. You know what I'm going to say. I mean, this is this is the perfect beer as far as a hop head is concerned. Cheers, final chug. Guys, it's a 10. It's a 10 plus. If there was an 11 on a scale of 10, it'd be 11. Pretty damn impressive. Uh, if I could get this on a regular basis, this would be my number one hoppy beer to drink. But I cannot get it, so I mean, it would it would actually knock out Bell's Hop Slam. I, I mean, I like to have both of those because that is my favorite hoppy beer. I have those two side by side. And try those out, see how that goes. It's two fresh bottles, so uh, guys, it's a, it's a, it's a damn good beer. If you can get this beer and you're a hop head, and you haven't had it, give it a try, cause uh, like I said, this is uh, this is about as good as it gets for an IPA, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, like I said, it gets a ten, it's an A plus. Uh, Rake beer has a hundred, and it's overall and a hundred in the style. And beer advocate has an A plus. I mean. Ding, 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 ring all the bells. Everybody's in agreement here. It's probably one of the best IPAs I've ever tasted. So, with that being said, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. If you had and you've seen it, pick it up, give it a try. I guarantee you're going to like it. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.